Hey, hey Aquarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your May 2022 full moon reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we'll dive into the collective energy of Aquarius and take a look at what this very powerful full moon in Scorpio has in store for you. So just a friendly reminder, these are general readings. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so Aquarius, we not only have the full moon in Scorpio on the 15th or 16th of May, depending on your location, but it is a super blood moon with an eclipse smack dab in the middle of Mercury retrograde. So a lot of energy is going on. Scorpio is very deep, talks about karma, transformations, extremes mysticism and secrets so it is a very very powerful intense energy showing up here for you with the fact that it is combined with mercury retrograde talks about us really revising reconsidering and reviewing how far we have come and what we need to do to take that next course of action so what we have here for you aquarius is we have virgo energy and double sagittarius so you may have these placements in your chart you may be dealing with others with these placements in their chart or just embodying the energies in general so right away we have attend to the details yes this makes perfect sense here because again this is the time for you to revise review look things over in order for you to make a new plan if this is your finances this could be really getting down to the nitty-gritty where are you spending your money where could you be saving more what can you pay off so I do feel like a lot of you are taking a look at your finances and also how you can bring in additional income as well. Maybe looking at career changes, trying to build up a business here, bring in more clientele. So I feel like a lot of you are really attending to the details, but waiting to make some major decisions or important decisions in your life, uh, waiting until you really review or get things on the right track here. So this makes perfect sense. Full moons tend to bring in uh, endings to bring in new beginnings they can be very intense and I feel like there's a new revelation here and I feel like there's a new energy showing up here especially around um, June 5th to mid June is what I'm hearing here so there may be some maybe real estate transactions possibly purchasing of a home or a vehicle. There could be some wedding arrangements as well. I'm just seeing tending to the details of specific things this month because there may be some big event or big change or transformation happening in June. Now, Aquarius, we have see the bigger picture, full moon and Sag. So Sagittarian energy does talk about seeing from a higher perspective. This says instead of maybe rushing impulsive, impulsively into what it is that you plan on doing, this is about seeing things from a higher perspective. In that way, you'll be able to kind of pinpoint the details of what needs to be revised. Um, some of you creating a business plan. For others of you, maybe even a vision board, getting clear on what it is that you want to manifest in your life. Seeing the bigger picture, they're giving me three of wands and Energy here so I feel like your hard work on a situation really is going to pay off here uh, this is all about you looking at it from a new lens you gaining a new set of eyes so to speak so I feel for a lot of you uh, you will be hitting the target you can see here that there is an archer uh, there is somebody who has uh, getting ready to shoot that arrow but sometimes when you when, well always when you go to shoot an arrow you have to go back first and then you plunge forward and that's what this retrograde and full moon is bringing in for you it's a time to it feels like take a couple steps backwards but really what you're doing is revamping the situation and saying how can I go a different course how can I spend my money in the best way how can I move towards the career that brings in the finances and compensates me for my uh, energy and time? How can I bring in the relationships or bring life to an existing relationship here? So you're definitely seeing the bigger picture here, Aquarius, of a situation. 
Now we also have believe in your good luck because I do feel again, June energy. I feel really, really positive. There may be reunions. They're just showing me a uh, four of wands energy. I feel like there's going to be some milestones being hit. It could be vacations, weddings, celebrations, could even be awards, graduations, news of a, a birth announcement or an engagement here. So believe in your good luck because I feel like there's a lot of really wonderful celebrations showing up here for you in the near future. But tending to the details is going to be important mid-month, flowing into the end of Mercury retrograde, which ends on the 3rd of June, I believe. But this is all about your luck changing. So let's dive into the energy here, Aquarius and see where you are at and what energy is surrounding you regarding this moon. Ooh, Knight of Swords. So you definitely want to take action. I feel like you're preparing to take action for something here, something quite big. What is that? Well, it could be love. Uh, for others of you, it can certainly be about a passion project. So you have the double knights here, Knight of Swords and Knight of Cups. So you're ready. I feel like you're putting the, the finishing touches up on a situation. You are tending to the details. It's almost like when you are to, let's just use publishing a book. Maybe some of you are writers out there. You want to get a piece of work published. I feel like when you do that, there's a rough draft and then you go over it and you also, it's very important to get maybe a second set of eyes on it and then you may look over it again. So there's a process here uh, of elimination, so to speak. And that's what this full moon is all about for you, Aquarius, is eliminating what doesn't work. Maybe it worked, you know, a week ago, five weeks ago, five months ago, but now it's, it's not working and you're taking a higher perspective and you're saying, okay, this doesn't go uh, maybe in this chapter. Maybe this chapter I'm going to eliminate altogether, or maybe I need to rewrite this chapter. So you're definitely taking a deep dive into the details, and I feel like you will be taking some very beautiful creative action here, but first of all, there is some details, some planning, some revising, and then you're able to really move forward in the direction of your heart, doing something that really opens up and illuminates this heart chakra. Now let's take a look and see what it is that you are eliminating uh, around this full moon. And because of that elimination, what is going to fill its spot? So again, for an example, let's say you decide to eliminate a chapter of a book and you decide to write a new chapter. So let's take a look at what, oh, you have the fool showing up. There is the energy of a new beginning. So you're eliminating and you're starting over. You're getting rid of the old and starting completely fresh is what I'm sensing. And uh, it may have to do with finances. It may have to do with your health or something in the tangible world because pentacles are about the physical, the earthly. It can be about finances, body, health, prosperity, material gain, and recovering from material loss here. So the five of pentacles is a, definitely a huge shift in money or health. If you've had maybe a job loss or an illness, something of that nature, you're ready to start fresh. That's why you're tending to the details. If there was a health issue, you may be really taking a look at what you're putting into your body and what you need to release in order to feel healthy and feel vibrant and feel whole. For others of you, you're taking a leap of faith uh, going towards a new job opportunity or a new business inquiry. So I feel really positive about this energy and you're ready. I just keep hearing you are ready. It's just putting the finishing touches on a situation. Some of you, you could even be remodeling or re revamping up your living quarters or your business space or something of that nature as well. A uh, very positive energy showing up regarding this full moon uh, for you in Scorpio. So even though there, this talks about karma, transformations, mysticism, some of you I just heard are creating an altar or a sacred space. Perhaps this is uh, an area of your home that you have maybe your crystals or your oracle cards or, you know, statues of maybe Buddha or certain things that you really like. Kind of like this area here is a little bit of my, my sacred space. My cards are up here and candles and crystals and all of that good stuff. I feel like a lot of you are redoing or revamping your space, especially when it comes to your own mysticism or your own spirituality. For others of you as well, I feel like somebody may have just purchased a new crystal. So you may be actually holding or wearing that crystal 
as you're listening to this, or it may be that you can see that crystal, or if you've just purchased one in the last uh, you know, few days, or maybe you're about to. So please take that as it resonates. Now, Aquarius, let's dive into your untapped spiritual gifts and your greatest strengths. So I love doing this portion of your reading because untapped means that you've started to dive into it, but you haven't quite hit that fullest the fullest potential. So it's something that I feel you will gain, but you can use and utilize your spiritual gifts to help you open up these greatest, uh, your untapped gifts. So let's take a look. Let's get one more. Uh, we're going to read them separately and then I'll tell you why we can combine them and utilize them. Oh, you have three strengths. Perfect. So your untapped spiritual gifts, you have the magician. Ooh, are you a creator or what? You're a manifester. Some of you don't quite realize the power that you hold regarding manifestation. Why and how? Because you may focus at times on what you've lost. You can see here with this five of cups, Five of Cups is about betrayal, broken heart, regret, disappointment. It can be focusing on the glass as half empty. So what I see is your untapped spiritual gift is for you to focus on the glass half full. And when you can stay in that positive mindset of positivity, of gratitude, of uh, co-creating with spirit, the world is your oyster. You can manifest whatever it is here that you want in your life. And that's something you're starting to realize that the law of attraction works in both your favor uh, and not your favor because what you're putting out into the universe, you're seeing that that's what you are getting in return, whether positive or negative. The magician says here, your greatest strength is to dive into that toolbox that you have, to use your talents, your skills, to take action and reclaim what is yours here? Using your personal power. So I feel like you are starting to tune into the law of attraction. Again, this is untapped. And in order for you to really tap in at your fullest potential, it is seeing the glass is half full here, uh, focusing on the lessons that came from the loss. And that can certainly be challenging at times. But let's take a look at your greatest strengths here, Aquarius, and see how you can use your strengths to help open up these gifts. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Some of you Aquarians out there have no idea how powerful you are, or maybe you do, but this is fantastic. Ace of Wands, the Star, and Justice. So your greatest strength here is to chase your dreams. It is to burn with desire, with passion, with inspiration, to set new goals, to be creative, to stay actually quite optimistic about situations, regardless of what's happened here in the past. This is about feeling like you have a new sense of purpose, especially regarding your passion. So what I'm getting here for you is a lot of you are either gravitating or you currently are in the energy of doing something or putting out some sort of work that you love. And the goal here is to be compensated for what it is that you love as well, but it's to help people. You are a helper here, Aquarius. You are a healer. And the Ace of Wands is all about you using your manifestation skills in and your strengths to really chase your dreams. And that's what I see you doing here in this lifetime. Now we do have healing. Again, you are a healer. This could be you focus on self-healing in this lifetime. It could be about healing karma because the justice is the card of karma or helping other people overcome their imbalances as well. But the justice card, Libra and energy, and this is all about seeing the good in life, seeing the good, being fair, offering fair, chances offering a second chance is what i just heard here but this can be about legalities as well your strength some of you uh, professionally or personally are able to balance up situations or maybe you do work in the the law with law or with the court systems here or with the the legal system but this is about making sure that you i feel that you don't judge others or most importantly don't judge yourself so use that strength to your benefit here and i feel that 
it goes hand in hand with this five of cups card because it's saying you're not judging what's happened in the past. And that may be difficult at times because again, it is untapped, but this is really beautiful energy coming in for you. Uh, your greatest strengths to definitely chase your dreams, chase your passions regarding career and life purpose is huge. To do the healing work necessary, but also to help others heal and to bring balance to your life and others. So these are really fantastic here, Aquarius. Now let's get a few messages from Spirit. What do we have, Spirit, for Aquarius? There are some changes coming in quite strongly. They're giving me um, a poem. No, I'm not quite sure uh, if this means you write poems or maybe you need to write a poem or there could be something poetic or something with music. Uh, please take that as it resonates. They're not giving me what the poem is, but I feel like it's very poetic or, um, or maybe again, you just read a poem. So please take that as it resonates. We have soul solitude. We have stay connected. Let's see what else we have here from Spirit. For you, Aquarius, we have Ask and we have New Beginnings. There's that full energy showing up. I told you there are some new beginnings coming in that are going to be really big. So trust in that good luck because you've been, you've been manifesting this. And uh, sometimes it seems like uh, you, maybe luck isn't on your side or you seem like, you know, the negative at times, or you'll never get to where you want to be, but you're definitely on your way. So soul sol solitude talks about your soul needing attention. Utilize the full moon energy to sit in some quiet space, sit at your altar, sit under that moon, that uh, light. It says there are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. So yes, absolutely, Aquarius, take some time during this full moon, whether it's on the 13th, whether it's the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, take a little bit of time out to soak in the energy of just solitude and being with yourself here. Because I feel spirit wants to connect with you. Spirit wants to create and help you manifest your reality. It says we are all born connected. Uh, many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect. It's time for you to get back on course, back on track here. And with all the excitement, with all the, the busybody energy or what's going on in the world, what's going on in your personal life, sometimes we tend to pull away. Maybe we don't practice uh, you know, tuning into our intuition or connecting with our spiritual side as more often as we'd like. This is saying, do what you need to do. Take that soul solitude to connect yourself back to spirit. Next, we have ask. There are many here in the spirit world that want and can assist you at this time. We're made up of the divine source, your loved ones, your friends, your guides, your angels, and your spiritual helpers. And we're all here waiting for you to assist you. We're your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask. Beautiful. So this is perfect confirmation here that you Aquarius have a huge support team and your team wants to support you going through these changes, going through these shifts. What are these shifts, you might ask? Well, you have new beginnings showing up here, not only with this Ace of uh, Wands energy, which is one of the best Aces in my opinion here, but the new beginnings is all about you vibrating at that same level of what you're trying to manifest. And that's ultimately what the law of attraction is about. It says everything in life is constantly vibrating Aquarius and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you. Your spiritual team is trying to nudge you forward and move you in this direction. Spirit again wants to help co-create manifest what it is that you desire. What is it that you desire? It's going to be different for everyone. A new job, maybe a family, a baby. Uh, this could be a new home, a camper, a truck, a car. Whatever this is for you, you can make this happen here. So see uh, the bigger picture and uh, join forces with your spiritual team. All right, let's take a look and see how you have grown. How have you grown here, Aquarius? Ooh, you have the third night in the deck here. You have all nights out. So that makes me 
feel like you've taken a lot of steps forward. I feel internally and now you're starting to see it manifest in your outer world. So pat yourself on the back, Aquarius. Good job because Knight of Wands is you willing to do what it takes. Even if that's jumping through fire hoops. Even if that is you doing what you know to be right for you. I feel like there's no stopping you until you achieve this success. Some of you are very, very hard workers here, Aquarius, and I feel like you will continue to climb. You will continue to thrive. And a lot of you, this has to do with your finances. I see really good news on the horizon regarding money. So keep doing what you're doing here because this drive, this motivation, this energy force is actually going to really propel forward in the beginning of June. I see for you again, they're just showing me the June energy where you're going to feel that intense passion and you're going to feel this excitement, this adventure because you are brave enough to enter the unknown. You have that full energy. So I love this showing up for you. Now let's take a look and see what action steps you can take to continue growing. What action steps can Aquarius take to continue growing on their path? Stay kind. Stay grateful. Uh, very positive. That should be with every single soul on this uh, world. But the Six of Pentacles talks about the law of giving and receiving. The Six of Pentacles is about unexpected gifts, resources, donating your time, your energy, your effort, your money if you're able to, but putting out into the universe. And I feel like you will receive whatever you're putting out. Now, again, it doesn't have to be material or financial. It can be emotional. Putting out your acts of kindness really helps the universe. And in return, the universe is going to reward you. Uh, you know, it starts... The, be the change you wish to see in the world is what I'm hearing. Be the change uh, it, because it starts from within. So when you start to change, you see that change in your outer world. And next we have the Hierophant. This is about divine learning. It's about committing to your goals, committing to your self. Uh, this Hierophant can be about learning, teaching, your beliefs, your morals, and you are, I feel you're taking a good look at what works for you and what doesn't. If people were giving you corrupt advice or if you just felt people were being unethical in certain situations, your gift here is, I feel, to bring in balance to the situation. So this is all about you living and uh, thriving under this divine guidance here. I love this for you. Now let's get a couple of last cards from the angels here regarding action steps that you can take Aquarius to continue on your soul's journey. What do we have here from the angels? We have twin flame, we have indigo, and we have solar plexus chakra. Ooh, I love that solar plexus chakra. Twin flame. The answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. So some of you, this is could be twin flame energy. I just heard fake twin flame. Some of you know that somebody was a fake twin flame. Please take that as it resonates. Maybe you're calling in a twin flame or you're healing from a twin flame. Or maybe this doesn't pertain to you. Take it as it does. And next we have solar plexus. Actually, I'm going to save that one for last because it's my favorite. Indigo. The person that you are inquiring about is an indigo. So first off here, Aquarius, I feel like this is you, but if there's somebody on your mind, this twin flame energy or, uh, you know, a friend, a family member, a coworker, they could be an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive, natural born leader. A lot of indigos I find have uh, ADHD or they have OCD or even uh, on the spectrum of autism here, uh, but they can be those natural leaders as well. So do Google or look up energies regarding indigo children or indigo adults. It may help you uh, figure out more about a person or even more about yourself if this resonates. And last but not least here, we have solar plexus chakra. It is safe, Aquarius, for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive ways. This is really beautiful. You are taking charge of, charge of your life here. So believe in your good luck because 
the wheels are spinning and it's about to stop in your, I feel like your financial house here, but it's about to stop and say time to get on this train and go with the punches here because I feel like you have a shift coming in that's going to bring a lot of abundance, a lot of good luck. Even though we haven't received the Wheel of Fortune, they're giving me Wheel of Fortune combined with Sun. So to me, I feel like fate, destiny, uh, good luck. There's a turning point, a cycle coming up here for you where you're going to have more abundance, more happiness, good health. You're going to really enjoy life. Uh, especially if you've been dealing with the ups and downs for quite a while, which is life, right? It barely ever stays balanced for too long, uh, which is okay because that's what we're here to do is learn. But I feel this is about you reclaiming the power and that Ace of Wands energy. That's about you chasing your dreams, regaining power and uh, reclaiming what is yours. So Aquarius, powerful stuff here. I certainly hope this resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button, that notification bell. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. It certainly helps the channel. And I'm looking forward to tuning in next time. Lots of love.